Okay, let's get started. Hello, Escher Illusions Inc. family. I hope everyone had a fun and easy summer. Now, we've got a big quarter coming up. It is time to pick our hot new optical illusions of the season. Now, before we get started, I just want to say I know that finding a hit product right now can feel like we are stuck on the Penrose staircase, right? <laughs> but I am excited to announce that we finally made a new hire, some real human capital. I think he's really going to elevate our brand. So everyone, please give a warm welcome to our new VP of sales, Admiral Conrad Aloysius Rutherford IV. Oh, please, call me Rod. All my friends did. Way to show team spirit, Rod. Now, I hope you all brought your A-game because we need some hot new optical illusions and we need them now. I've been waiting 300 years. Right? I am excited too. Let's get started. Ever been scared by a ghost? You might have seen an afterimage. An afterimage is an eerie trick indeed, played by your mind. And by your mind, I mean your brain and your senses and how they communicate. Our bodies are not perfect. They make mistakes. And sometimes those mistakes can be really fun. Welcome to the weird world of optical illusions. An optical illusion, or deceptive visual image, is brought to you by the miscommunication between your eyes and your brain. How do they communicate to begin with? Let's focus on our eyes. At the back of the eye is a super thin sheet of nerve cells called the retina. A doctor can see it pretty easily through a scope, making the retina the only part of the brain visible outside of the skull. When light hits the retina, it activates cells called rods and cones. Rods detect light and dark, cones detect color. Each cone responds to one of three colors, red, green, and blue. By their powers combined, we see millions of colors every day. When we look at something, light bounces off that thing, hits the retina, activates those cone cells, which send messages to your brain. Your brain interprets those messages as colors and shapes and decides that those colors and shapes are a pumpkin, or a dog, or a face. Usually your brain gets it right, but not always. Uh, last year, we had a lot of success with Old Lady, Young Lady. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember them? Ooh. I like them both. And so this year, I'd like to propose uh, this one. Is it a man playing Ooh. a horn, or is it a woman's face? Well, gender's a construct, but... I like them both! Yes, faces, very on brand. Humans love them. Find them everywhere. Rod, any illusions to share? I have unfinished business. That is okay, Rod. We all have to-dos piling up. And we really need to adjust our expectations, honestly, because it is so hard being trapped in the house. My bones are buried in the very foundation of my estate. Yes, I think we all feel that way at this point. Experiment time. For this experiment, you'll just need to keep staring at the screen. What is this image? Well, it looks like a rainbow, but the colors are all off. Stare at the center of this image. You can let your eyes lose focus if they need to, but keep staring. On the count of three, the screen will change to white. Keep staring. One, two, three. What happened? You saw a ghost! Rainbow! A ghosty rainbow with all the colors we know and love. This is called an after image. How does it happen? By tiring out your eyes. Imagine this. Think of these runners as cone cells in your eyes. They spring into action whenever they detect color, either red, green, or blue. Let's look at that weird rainbow again. The green we see is really a combination of green and blue. Imagine the green and blue runners really pounding the pavement. After a while, as you stare at that image, those green and blue cones get tired from being so active. Scientists call that getting desensitized. The cones sensing green and blue stop sending all those signals because they're like, okay, we get it already. It's green, it's blue, ah. 
When you look away at the white screen, green and blue take a break, leaving red to race ahead. So what do you see? Red. To make this a true experiment, try this with different images to see what happens. Does it work for every color? What happens if you swap out the white screen for a black or a gray one? By tiring out your cone cells, you can get pretty eye-opening effects. Now, I hate to focus on the negative, but I think we can all agree that last year's gray dots appearing and disappearing was kind of a letdown. You know, yeah, you think you see it, and then you go to look at it, and it's gone. Mm -mm. Oh, don't like that. People have said the same about me. Rod, are you there? We can't see. Uh, you know what? Keep going, everyone. I'm sure you can hear us. So I'm feeling like Rod is a ghost. Team, let's get laser focused. Just not on those dots. I would like to propose this one, which has completely funked up my cheese today. Are you heckin' serious? Are those lines freaking parallel? They're all parallel. <laughs> what the honk? I know. Oh, it's wow. so amazing. I can't believe it's it. Like, kids, come I look at this. Wow. Where are you? Oh, okay, where are you when I finally wow. want you to look at something? Where did you go? You have to look at these lines. And I realized right now it does quiet the time. Because how do we really know what's true anymore after all? Hold on, hold on. Why not return to a classic? We could bring back the Necker Cube. Ooh, yep. It looks like it's facing left, and it also looks like it's facing right. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the invisible prison that keeps me trapped between this world and the... Excuse me? Sorry, Ouija board is calling. I have to take this. F. A. He ghosted us. So unprofessional. The after image is not the only way we could see a ghost. Oh no. There's the Troxler effect, change blindness, perceptual filling in. Many ways our mind can play tricks on us and that's just our eyes. All our senses are fair game to be fooled. It's a humbling reminder that what we observe is not always the full story. That's why as scientists, we observe and ask questions, test hypotheses, analyze evidence, consider where we might be biased, ask experts, read, find many ways to explore our questions. Because not everything is what it seems. And there's gotta be some science there. What do you think, scientist? Geez, what did I miss?